Hello, I'm Viach, and this is my tire propulsion cannon. I'm going to load it up, fire off a couple rounds, and then talk about how it works. So you hit a switch, it raises you up here, opens up the clip, and you load it like so. I decided to go with the long blue tubes because well, come on, I mean, they look like shells. But besides that, I, I feel like they don't rub on the sides in a one sp hole, space hole like a square object would. Square objects tend to have friction, where these seem like they're maybe a little bit smaller or maybe just because their surface area that's in contact is less so the friction's less uh, but also I like that it's three long because I, what I'm going for let me fire this up fire a couple off is the back end to hit one tire and the front end to hit another tire this causes the back tire to push forwards and down while the front tire pushes forwards and up. This causes the shell to spin. And there you go. And that's usually what tends to go the furthest is the ones that spin like that. Occasionally, you will end up with a stuck shell in there. But you can just delete it out. If you wanted to, I do have it set up so you can go up to a 45 degree angle or you could go back down or you can turn left or right. This is great if you're trying to hit a moving target but the thing's not that accurate <laughs> so good luck with that. Alright so now let's talk about how it works. So hooked up to the seat is this bearing here which when you press left or right will set off one of these two sensors which controls one of these two bearings allowing you to turn left or right next is the box hooked up to the seat that controls this bearing here and what this box does is each time you hold forward for a period of time it'll go up 15 degrees. You hold down, it'll go down 15 degrees back to zero, which is our straight horizontal line. Next is our two engines, which controls our propulsion, hooked up to a switch, which is hooked up to the chair. Then we have our reload mechanism, which angles our clip back to 90 degrees straight up, pushes the seat up, and opens that up. And here's what's going on for all that. Then last is our box for our firing mechanism. And what that does is it moves this to the right, pushing a shell to the right. And then this bearing moves out of the way allowing the shell move to the right and once it's to the right it goes back in place pushing the shell down if it hasn't fallen already back here is a bearing that just allows a pipe to spin on the back because I wanted the shells to go downwards um, first in the back and be upwards in the front so I could get my angles better and that just allows that to happen. Now this isn't the best cannon, I wouldn't say, or the definitive cannon, because as you can see, it's not all that accurate. Sometimes you'll end up with boomeranging effects of shells flying way back behind you. But then other times, you'll end up with something magical, like these two shells that ended way past even my firing range. So, like, 
Yeah. Sometimes. What? It's just. She added, wow, okay, this had to roll a ways, but yeah, this thing was fired from that cannon way over there. <laughs> this is amazing. I didn't even know this was here, um, but yeah, that is the tire propulsion cannon. <laughs>